Good afternoon. Um, it's time to restart now. Sorry for the delay. Uh, so, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for attending. Thank you to FX Street to give me the opportunity to speak. Okay. Uh, my name is Tomo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of market operations at Intuition Trading Group. For those who aren't familiar, we are a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, and unified trading solutions for investors. This is our series of In The Money webinars uh, for those who are here first time. Uh, in order to, to better see or to better understand how I define the levels or make the calls, um, it's preferable you attend to, to or you see uh, the previous uh, recorded webinars. They are available at fxstreet.com on the webinars recording session. Okay, section. Sorry. So let's start here. It's important to know the disclaimer. Okay, any levels or any trades I alert here on the webinars. They are not a solicitation to invest and you should carefully consider your financial situation prior to making any investment. It's preferable to you seek an advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. Okay, related to our services, um, we have our main core service is the automated Forex trading signals. Okay, they are automated for the MT4 platform, the MetaTrader platform. Okay, uh, you can see more details on the on the web address here on the slides. Okay, if you are a um, uh, fx3.com client and user, you have a 10% discount. So you can see there uh, all info regarding our um, our services. Okay, if you have any questions, you can go to our website to intuitiontrading.com. Okay, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Okay. So this is my second session with this uh, new software. So if there is any problem, sorry about that in advance. If you have any questions, please, uh, you have the, the question and answers, okay, on the right side of your uh, software. Um, please, you can put there uh, your questions, or if you want, you can put on the chat main room. But it's preferable you put all the questions and answers, okay, and I will answer uh, when available, okay, so thank you. Let's start here. Well, uh, last Friday, let me open here the okay, let me open here the platform. Last Friday, we had the non farm payrolls. Okay, great. Is this what I want? Let me open only here the question and answers, okay, to see if you have any questions. Okay. So last Friday we have the non prime payrolls. If you assist or if you attend our webinar, you saw that we have this level here. Okay, it's good that we open here the annotation. Okay, great. We have Okay, is good. This is good. We have here this level, okay, and we have this level in order, the levels to define. I told that uh, there was a higher probability of market to go up, okay, market decide to go up, test the 130, 40, 50 area, okay. But then I expect with this break here, when market break this level, okay, made this bar here, uh, I expect that market could go at least to 131. Okay, Margaret, although the, the 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 report was very good, but market didn't test, okay, and since open of yesterday, since yesterday open Sunday opening, market is making this down move and testing now this important level here, okay, the 129.50 area. That was the resistance we have from the last movement that came from September, okay. As you know, this is rank of our charts, and rank of our charts are independent of time, okay, so time here is not important. The importance here is um, the, the price, the price action. 
Okay, we have these first tests here, then market went down, then another test, market make another higher low here, then retest, then create some balance here, that's why it's important this level here, and then finally, okay, create here some move, and then finally go up. So what we can interpret now, and that's why I have the, let me close here the annotation, okay, that's why I have here the 55 pips. This is the 55 pips chart, okay? Rank of our charts, okay? And here, as you can see, market uh, uh, test that level, okay? It didn't break because I consider a break when I see at least one bar close above the level, okay? Let me open your annotation. Okay. Okay, great. We have this level here. I consider a break when I see at least one bar. So this was not a break. And market, okay, is now pointing down. So we have now this important level here. This important level is the 129.20. Again, the 20 level. 20 and 80s are very important levels for the market, okay? So we have now the 129.20. What can happen now is, let me clean this, okay? In order, okay, we have this level and this level here. What can happen now is simple, okay? If market decide to go and test the 129.20, a bar close at this level here and hold, we can interpret this as a possible, okay, let me put this on the other way. Okay, we have this level here, here, okay. If market go and test this level here, and all the market, if this level, all the market here, okay, we can interpret this as a possible inverted head and shoulders, okay? And if market go to 130.50 level again, and after that go up, we can at least see a possible go to 132.50 level. And I'm going to show you on the order book why I call the 132.50 level. Because there is a level where the majority of the stops are, okay, and that level is where the majority of traders are willing to give up, okay, of the short trades and possible reverse to long trades, okay? And that agrees with, okay, we have here one, two, three, four, four down bars. If we count from the level four up bars, we'll go precisely to that level, okay? If you go... Okay, if we go to that level, if we see here, we have two bars here, okay, and another two bars up from here. It will give us this level here, which is in total agreement with our charts, okay, is four bar ups from here, and in total agreement with this congestion area we have here, let me show this congestion area here is the 132.50 level. So if market came to 129.20 and market holds and then finally go up, we can interpret that, okay, market was gaining more momentum in order to test this level. Okay, it's precisely four bars, four bar ups, so the amplitude of the inverted head and shoulder is, is made. Okay, and coincidence with this last, okay, here, this last resistance, where, and let me show you now the order book, okay, and where is the order book, okay, share application, is, is this what I want, okay, 
put this in English. If we see here, okay, if we see here, is precisely, okay, is precisely, let me put this on zoom, this level here on the open orders, as you can see here, is precisely the level that the charts are indicating that a possible resistance level on the market. And this blue here indicates that, okay, the majority of the traders, okay, the majority of the traders have the stops at this level, which is in total agreement and I want to reinforce this idea, is in total agreement with the charts. I'm not telling that the market goes there, okay? This is um, a probability. But we know that if market holds the 129.20 area, okay, retest, okay, the 130.50 area and break that level, there is high probability for market go and test this 132.50 level, okay? Right now, we have this level here, okay, this, we have stops here and we have stops here. So we are in what I used to call the Iceland, as you know, I already told this in previous webinars. This is what I, I call, okay, the Iceland here. And, what, and, what, and why I'm telling the Iceland? Because as you see, the price here have some gaps, okay? And these gaps needed to be filled in order to market F flow or, or gain more momentum to go where he wants to go. Since yesterday, let me put here, I want to know, okay, let me open here the other positions only, okay, as you can see here, let me show all, as you can see here from these last hours, what we see is that, okay, market from Sunday, there was a, a balance of the price here, and this balance of the price was, okay, was not in agreement because price went down, 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 down. And as you can see from this bottom, when market made this strong from 129.70 to 129.37 area, market break the majority of the, of, the, of the short positions and now going up. And now they are appearing more buyers on the market. We can interpret these more buyers on the market as... Um, higher probability for market will go down, okay, and go down, we know where price might eat, okay, let's go to the platform here, okay, here, we have now the platform here open, now let's open the other 21 pips chart, so as you can see, this is no, this for me is no trade area, it's important to know this for me is almost no trade area, okay, because market can bounce up, down, up, down, up, down, okay. If we see a break here of the 129, okay, market can go test the 129, sorry, if break here, the 129, this is 50 area, when I say break, is at least make one bar, okay, or close one bar below this level, can go and test this. Although, even market come to this level, don't invalidate or, or, or better than say, that don't destroy the pattern that are building on the higher time frame. And you know that on multiple time frames, an important rule is the higher time frame, okay, overrules the lower time frames. So this is a 21 pips. If you trade 
uh, I personally I personally trade uh, four time frames, okay, the 21, the 34, 55, and 89. But if you trade only one, okay, uh, is important if you can add higher time frames in order to confirm the trend or these uh, consolidation patterns or possible uh, uh, formation on these patterns. So even market go to this level here, Okay, this is the 129 area. Okay, you can profit from here. Okay, but you need to be alert that the 129.20 can form on the higher time frame and an inverted head and shoulders pattern. Okay, on the other way, if market go up from here, we know that this is almost no trade area. Okay, because market can go bounce from up down. There is no price here, okay, we have the 130, okay, 130 or 130, 20, can interpret this as a possible resistance now for the market, but we don't have any information, neither here, neither on the order book, that can tell us, okay, that will be the price that markets at that price may stop, okay, and create some resistance. So, if market goes up from here, let me clean this. If market go up from this level here, okay, we have this minor resistance now. This is the, this is the previous top, okay, and then the so-called 131 to test. That was the year. This was the prior resistance area. So resuming. The levels we need to watch now is a possible break of this support now. That was resistance. We have here four times, okay? We can count a three times test and then a, at the four was a retest and the break here. Okay, this was the break. The 129.50 area or on the other side, okay, the 130, 30.40 area. Okay, you need to be alert to the last stop in order to go to 131. So these are the important levels now, at least that shows on the, on the 21 pips and on the 55 pips. Okay, on the 34 pips, all is in agreement with the others. Okay, it's important uh, when you have uh, any disagreement, okay, or... Uh, one time frame is telling, okay, this can go up, and the other, this can go down, and the other, okay, this can go up. Okay, that are the times when market is really undefined and choppy, and this is, is preferable, you set aside, okay, until see a further development of the market, and then we can enter it with a higher probability. Okay, so on the 34 pips, this is the 34 pips chart, we have this level here, sorry, this line is not, is not correctly, let me, this line is here, okay, this was the resistance line, and I take here, okay, so we have now a retest of the level, so we know that the 129.50 area is, is really a strong support area. We have all these three in agreement, okay? And if break, we can have a possibility to market go down. Although we know that a possible formation on the, on the, on the 55 pips can support the market at 129.20 area. Okay, on the other side, we have this a possible up and then test the 131. Although it's important, and this is important to refer, uh, we can do the short trades here because this pattern on the 55 pip charts, okay, on the 55 pip charts can... Okay, this is, 
this is a possible pattern that is creating, but okay, market can go and break this level and test this, okay, and then go to up and retest that level again. So if you have a clear opportunity here, and a clear opportunity is a possible break, a real break of the 129.50 area, we can enter short, okay, with, this, with our stop loss above this level, okay, and we are risking about one bar, and we can collect about, okay, three, four bars. So this is not invalidating that we can go short here. I'm only alerting that a possible have an inverted head and shoulders can be forming there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to answer you all. The, the, um, the attendant made here um, a question. The time frames on the charts here, okay, on the left, we have the 21 pips rank of our charts. Here on the middle, this is the 34 pips rank of our charts. And on the right, I have the 55 pips rank of our charts. Okay? These are rank of bar. They are not um, usually time bars, okay? Like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 50 minutes, okay? These rank of bars are independent from time. Okay, time here is not important at all. Only the price. Okay, hope to have answered your question. So, resuming and to finish here our our webinar, the euro is in in curious, okay, in curious situation because we know that we have a support at 129.50 area. Okay, market went there and didn't break. Okay, this can be what I call an extreme, okay, an extreme retracement when we see this above the three down bars, okay, and when we have a, a support or resistance at that level, this can be called an extreme. And why extreme? Because, okay, this, since this level, okay, a middle this bar, or a possible, okay, from this bar down, okay, this can go retest that level, clean the stops here, and then reverse and go up, okay? These situations are extreme, this can be extreme retracements on the price, okay? So, if you are short on the market, Okay, you need to be alert of the 130.50 level because a break can lead us to 131 or make a retest of 131.71 area or 70 area. If you are long on the market, okay, uh, you probably had close, okay, some partial profits. I took some partial profits at this level here on Friday. I personally took here some partial profits. But if you are long, if you see a break of this level, in my opinion, you should not okay, continue the trade. Because a break of this is invalidating okay, this support here and can bring price test the 129 area and then further down. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask, okay? I'm available to answer all your questions. Uh, if you are new here, okay, this, this is more advanced concepts, okay? If you are following our webinars, you are, okay, more inside of the rank of our charts and the levels. But if you are new, it's, it's really preferable if you can see the previous recorded webinars, okay, and with time, uh, we'll better understand how market flows, okay, here on the, on the, on the rank of charts, okay. We can interpret this, okay, like I told the extreme, how we can define if this is, is an extreme or not an extreme, okay. 
Um, as I told in my, I think two, okay, two weeks ago, markets tend to move, okay, or Renko bar charts tend to move in two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen bars. Okay, when I see a four down bars, that is is this particular case. And with the support here, we can interpret at a resistance, okay, at an extreme, okay, extreme scenario here. And if market really go up from here, this is confirming an extreme situation. And these are the levels where the majority of the traders lose money, okay, because this is clearly a stop hunting, okay, or a... a um, the levels or the the, uh, the clean areas that the, the big players, the bank institutionals do, in order to give space to the market to go to or in this case higher, or if not consolidating, okay, go lower, okay. But you will always see when we see. When we see these patterns on the on the on the on the Renko bar, this test 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 retest again retest break and then a test, we, you will always see at least um, okay a, a stop of the price. So if you are a risk trader or a more risk have a more um, higher risk profile, you can go enter long year okay with a small stop of one bar expecting that price okay at least bounce to this level make here a, a one bar reversal or can go further up okay because you know this will be a, a area we know that and is all agreement on the time frames that this will be a area where the 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 price will create some resistance or in this case support here so I will finish here if there is no questions. Okay, let me only put only close here. Uh, regarding the the, um, the webinars, uh, they will be uh, our next webinar will be next Friday. Okay, we will not going to have uh, the daily webinar. Um, this is due some some from my part. Okay, um, the time is is not high for me. Okay, I don't have too much time, uh, and uh, the, the the company. Okay, I needed more time for me, and I need to devote some. Okay, some new projects we are having and developing. Uh, so for that reason. And sorry about that for our follow our daily followers. Uh, we'll have our webinars at Monday and Friday. Although on Wednesday I will do a, a webinar, a special webinar related to the the, the correlation between S and P, okay, and Nasdaq uh, to the world markets, okay. That will be on Wednesday, the one day one topic uh, webinars. So let me just put here, okay. If you have any questions, <coughs> please feel free to, to email me at tradingdesk at intuitiontrading.com or go to our website, intuitiontrading.com. Uh, I will be more than happy to answer all your questions in reasonable time, okay. Um, you can go to our uh, web, website at fxstreet.com too. So uh, thank you very much for attending. I hope you all enjoy the session. Please be alert for the levels I, I, I told here on the, on, the, on the webinar because these are the key levels, at least for the euro, to move. And I think for the, for the, um, the coming week, okay, the, the week we are, facing, <coughs> we are now, sorry. And these will be the levels. That can that can define the, the the further movement of the euro this week. So um, thank you very much once again, um, and have a rest of pleasant and nice day. Okay, thank you. Bye.